Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I'm a 20 year old that works at a company called Scott Life. We perform maintenance on nursing care products used in homes, care facilities, and hospitals. Here you go, Miss Sayo. Your wheelchair is as good as new. It's sparkling clean now. Thank you so much, Hiroshi. You're always so reliable. I love to see you work. Oh yeah, I have snacks, so have some before you leave. The elderly have always liked me, so this is the perfect line of work for me. I love it when our customers treat me well. I can't thank them enough, and Miss Sayo has been really good to me from the beginning. I don't get paid exceptionally well, but it's great making people happy with the work I do. It's a fulfilling job. Hey, Hiroshi! You're late! Where the hell were you? I'm sorry, I just got back. I was talking with Miss Sayo in her room. Why would you waste your time hanging out with those oldies during work hours? Just get back to work, now! Yeah, yeah, sorry. This is Hazama. He's my superior, and he's a really talented salesman. He gets paid well and comes from a highly educated background. The elderly seem to love me, but people like Hazama hate me. I'm not threatening at all, so I wish they'd just leave me alone. I finally got promoted to director. What was your role at this company, huh? Uh, I'm just a maintenance worker. <laughs> I thought so. It seems like we live in completely different worlds. Completely different careers, completely different pay. Where'd you go for college again? I remember being shocked when I first heard you talk about your school, because I've never heard of it before. Just like that, he kept on trying to assert his superiority over me. This has been going on since I joined the company. He probably gets a kick out of bullying people that are below him in the company hierarchy. Hey, Hiroshi! Miss Minakawa is here to see you. She's the care manager. Oh, I'll be right there in a second. Hey, wait a second, sir. Hiroshi's no use. I'm much more useful than him. I'll meet with Miss Minikawa. But she specifically asked to see Hiroshi. It's her personal request. Well, I'll make sure I get a good deal for us. So, just go clean the bathroom or something, Hiroshi. Hey, Mr. Hazama, wait! <sighs> He's gone. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm Hazama. Even though he's an asshole, Hazama is the ace of the sales department. His numbers show that he's a good salesman. But rumor has it that he often forces his clients to rent or purchase expensive nursing care products. Those grannies are all too proud of themselves. And that makes them really difficult to deal with. So we should let them sleep in really nice beds. This mattress makes people feel like they're staying at an expensive hotel. It's a must-have! While I value customer satisfaction, Hazma only cares about the numbers. Our boss has instructed him to change his ways in the past, but he hasn't budged at all. But one day, something unexpected happened. What? You're taking me out to a matchmaking party? That's right. I would really love to bring you to the party with me. People would like to see you there. You're a kind and respectful man, after all. He's definitely planning something. Uh, that's not really my thing, so I'll pass. Just look at this! These are the girls that are gonna be there. They're freaking models! What? They're so pretty! Men are stupid creatures. I ended up participating in the party, even though I thought something suspicious was going on. You know, I graduated from T University. I attended a private middle school and high school when I was a kid. And I studied super hard and ended up getting accepted into T University. Wow, that's incredible! Then your family must be rich. Well, duh! My dad went to the same university as me, and he works at a big company. So my fate was sealed the moment I was born. I was destined to be successful. Where'd you go for college, Hiroshi? I went to F University. Um, sorry. I've never heard of that school before. By the way, I can just tell that you have a lot of money. You just seem rich. You dress rich and you radiate that kind of energy. Ah, uh, stop it. But I have enough money in the bank right now to buy an apartment building if I wanted to. And I have enough money to make sure that my future wife never has to work a day in her life. Wow, that's awesome! The girls ignored me completely. They eventually left me and went to a different restaurant to drink some more. I headed home. <sighs> it sucks. But he makes more money than me. But I just can't see myself being as successful as him. My parents died when I was young. And so I've been alone ever since. I took out student loans to go to college. So my financial situation isn't very good right now. 
And so that's what happened. It sucks, but with the amount of money I'm making right now, it's no wonder I don't have any savings. Wait, do you want to quit your job? No, of course not! I love my current job! I don't want to quit, ever! But maybe I have to start looking into getting another job to go along with this one. You're right, this job was practically made for you. I found myself telling Miss Sayo about what had happened the day before. She's always super nice to me, so I couldn't help but complain to her. Hey, Hiroshi, I have an idea. Huh? The next day, Hazama started talking to me. He seemed like he was in a very good mood. I went home with one of the girls after that, and we're even dating now! She wants to get married as soon as possible. What should I do? I bet you're super jealous of me right now, Hiroshi. Yeah, I'm so jealous. Hey, are you listening to me? Alright, I'm done with the paperwork. I'm gonna head to the nursing home. Damn it, he's so boring. I made fun of him at the party, but he seems so happy. What's going on? Sorry for the wait, Miss Sayo. No worries, Hiroshi. What the hell is he doing talking to that granny again? If I remember correctly, that granny doesn't have anyone left in her life. Maybe that's why they get along with each other. A few years later, Hazama got married with his girlfriend. He bought an expensive apartment to live in, and seemed to be on top of the world. But he took out loans that he couldn't afford, and now he's regretting his decision. Damn it! Things aren't looking good! All I've been eating lately is instant noodles, and my wife is starting to despise me! This is the worst! Why have I got to live like this in this nice-ass apartment? Alright, I'm gonna go look at the construction site for the new apartment. Yep, go ahead. Um, where's Hiroshi headed? Oh, he's going to the apartment he just purchased. Huh? He bought an apartment? I thought he was poor! What the hell? Huh? Have you not heard? Thanks to him, our company has been- Wait, where are you going? Don't be stupid! I'm going to see this apartment myself! Man, I'm so excited! <laughs> this is what he was talking about? This old hunk of junk? It's been like, what, 50 years since it's been built? Mr. Hazama, why are you here? You know, I live in an expensive apartment building with three rooms and a dining room, kitchen, and a living room. It's on the top floor, too. We live in completely different worlds, you and I. I'm on top of the hierarchy. You're on the bottom. What are you even talking about? Uh, you're mistaken about something. I didn't just buy one room in this apartment building. I bought the whole building. <laughs> the whole building? <laughs> uh, wait, the whole building? What the hell are you talking about? How do you have that kind of money? Oh, I started investing in real estate a while back, and I finally hit the jackpot. Real estate? A few years ago, Miss Sayo asked me if she could adopt me. I don't have any children, so I'd like to adopt you and pass my real estate owings down to you while I'm still alive. And if we take advantage of one of the laws related to passing down a property, I'll be able to pass down $250,000 worth of my property tax-free. Wait, really? But this is your property! I'm sure there's better uses for it! I have enough money to live here for the rest of my life, and it's better if we sell the real estate soon. So I'd like you to make good use of it. You lost your parents when you were young, so I'm sure you have a lot of concerns regarding your future. So I want to help you out. Miss Sayo! And so, I was adopted by Miss Sayo, and she passed down one of her apartments to me. The value was placed higher than $250,000, so I had to pay a bit of the tax, but I was able to sell the apartment shortly after for way more. And so, I recently bought this apartment for cheap, and now, I'm starting a new real estate business. Uh, but this is a super old apartment! No one's going to live here! Yeah, it seems old right now, but when you go inside, it's fully remodeled. We made it barrier-free for any elderly residents as well. All of the rooms are sold out already. And thanks to that, the sales of our nursing products grew as well. I'm probably making around $200,000 a year right now. What? You're making twice as much as I do! No way! The reason my real estate business was so successful was because I made sure to fulfill all of the requests my clients made. I used the connections and know-how that I had cultivated over the years to devise a plan for the ideal apartment for the elderly. I made sure to pick out a plot of land that was close by to a hospital, a care center, and a train station. I made sure to allow pets, 
implemented various care services, and made everything barrier-free. It's the perfect home for the elderly, and many of my clients who I had good relations with decided to move in. Great work, Hiroshi. You're our new director. Thanks to you, our sales have been rising exponentially, and our reputation has been on the rise as well. Thank you very much, sir. This is all because you allowed me to start a side business. I'm gonna keep on trying my best. Just you wait, you bastard! I can't thank Miss Sayo enough for adopting me. I'd like to spend more of my time with her, now that we're a family. Apparently, Hazama was inspired by us to start his own real estate business. But I heard that it immediately failed. He had to let go of his expensive apartment, and now his wife has left him. Why was he able to do it? But I can't! Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!